Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I do my at-home manicure. I know we're all struggling right now, like not knowing what to do with our nails. I have done my own nails for the longest time, so all this is not new to me. I'm going to run you through how I do it. This is how I do it. I'm not a professional. You only need a few things that you probably already have lying around the house. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I kind of have everything laid out here. I always like to use like a clean, fresh towel and lay it on the table and then with some paper towels just right underneath so it's easy to clean. And then just a bowl of warm water with a little soap in it. And then just all of my utensils, like the regular stuff. Um, cuticle trimmer, a thing to push your cuticles, a nail filer and buffer and then your nail polishes and then acetone. And I just have my little cotton thing here. Okay, so I just have regular polish on. I'm gonna take some cotton and remove my nail polish using acetone that I got from Amazon. So all the polish is removed from my nails. I'm just gonna wash it a little bit in the warm water and soap mixture that I have. And then I'm just gonna go in and soak my one hand that I'm gonna start cutting and cleaning up the cuticles first. Um, this bowl is literally just warm water and soap. So your fingers are now a little bit wet. You're just gonna take just like a cuticle pusher tool and gently push away your cuticles. Just really gently, be very delicate. So now you can just take your cuticle trimmer and trim away stuff that's sticking out. It looks a lot cleaner already. So yeah, this is the first finger that I did. And now I'm gonna go in with a nail file and just file the shape that I want. So since this one is broken, I'm just gonna file it down short or even go in with like nail clippers. I don't wanna take away too much length, so I'm just going to file it so that it has like a fresh edge. And then go on the sides like this down, and then like that down on that side. And there you have your square shape. And just repeat on all 10 fingers. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is just take a nail buffer, take like the lighter side, the less coarse side, and just gently buff it on all 10 fingers. So after you've buffed and filed your nail, just go in with like a cuticle oil. I'm just using this Sally Hansen and just kind of like run it along your cuticles because the acetone is like really drying. So you kind of want to bring back the moisture to your fingernails. I kind of just like massage it in like this. And since we are going to be painting our nails right now, you're going to want to wash your fingernails and just scrub it really well with soap and water to make sure all the oil on like your nail surface is washed away so that you can make sure the nail polish stays on and won't chip. Just give it a good massage so that the oil can seep into the cuticles. And then I'm gonna go wash my hands now really well with soap and water and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use this Nail Envy by OPI. It's a nail strengthener. I find that it really, really helps my nails from breaking. Um, it just kind of like hardens your nail a little bit and it helps it not be too flimsy so it doesn't tear off at the ends. So I'm just gonna go 
over all 10 of my fingers and just paint this like I normally would with nail polish and then I'll follow up with um, base coat and then the color and top coat. dry for like 30 seconds and then you're gonna go in with the base coat so I've talked about this on my stories before this is the OPI line called infinite shine and it's specifically made for regular nail polish I think you can buy this as a set or separately I don't know but it, it's a primer and then a gloss so basically base coat and then top coat so I'm just gonna go in and paint again all 10 of my fingers with this base coat and yeah. The color that I want. This is a lighter color so I'm gonna do three coats of this and again just paint on all fingernails. See, I kind of went a little messy on there by accident, but I'll show you how to clean it up later. So based off the first coat, it looks pretty dark, so I might, I might actually only have to do two coats, but let's see after the two coats. It actually looks really good, so I'm just going to do two coats. Okay, so I decided I'm just gonna do two coats. And I love the color. It's still neutral, but still so fun. It's kind of like a gray shimmery blue. So you can see that I kind of like messed up there and painted outside of my nails. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to clean this up without ruining your nails since now all of your nails are painted. You don't wanna go in and like, kind of like scrape it off because it's obviously gonna ruin it. So I have a um, nail brush, but you could honestly use like any paint brush that you have that kind of has like a flatter edge like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put a little acetone on it so it's dry, like um, wet. And then I'm going to kind of like dab it onto the paper towel so it's, there's not too much product on there. You don't want it too wet because once you go onto your nail, you don't want the acetone to come running out of the brush so then it's going to ruin your nail polish. So I'm going to kind of just like run it along the nails just to make sure that it's all nice and clean. See now it's like perfect. Okay, so I waited for my fingernails to dry like 30 seconds to a minute and then now I'm going to go in with the top coat and just paint all of your nails. This is the easy part and the most satisfying part because it's like the last step. Okay, and that is my nail routine. This is like my go-to. I do this probably every two weeks or whenever I have free time. But yeah, I hope you guys like this. Bye guys.